I didn't think it's acne because I'm like, I'm way past the acne situation. <laughs> way, way. Never that. Everybody, welcome back to our channel, The Polo Twins. Today I'm alone, I'm Kenelo Polo. Yeah, but it's not with me today. Um, and that's because I will be speaking on a topic that um, she is not going to be participating in. Skin topic, because I've had issues with my skin. And since my skin has recovered, I've had people asking me, people that knew how bad it was, asking me, what did you do? How did you manage to overcome that acne problem that you had for a couple of months? So I thought it's important for me to sit down and hopefully give the information to other people that um, didn't see me i will link the pictures you will see i will be uploading pictures of how i looked like um a year ago and today my skin is popping it's looking good it's getting there um so i thought i should share it with anybody like how i moved from acne severe acne to a popping and glowing skin in just uh six months actually so i've got this because as you know it's spring and everybody has to be looking colorful and looking pretty so i thought i should say hey girl welcome to spring and yes yeah, so let's get to it um so i haven't had any skin problem or we myself and my twin we didn't have any skin problem growing up right our skin has always been perfect it's always been nice and um, quite oily type of skin in the summer and very dry in winter but that wasn't an issue because we didn't have any breakouts the way i've seen with some of my friends that would have breakouts and all of that so the skin has always just been changing during summer and winter and we would use like in summer we used to use ponds Yo, we used a lot of ponds Ponds, you've been good to us. It's actually been the perfect thing that we were using for our skin. So in the summer, we would use our normal to oily skin because we had oily skin in summer. So we needed the oil to be consumed a bit. And then in winter, we would use the normal to dry skin because our skin was dry. So it was either for normal to dry skin. Worked perfectly all the way in our teens. Everything was good. And all of a sudden, last year in 2018, actually it started end of 2017, right? When we went home in Mafikeng, um, went there and it was very hot. If you know Mafikeng, you would know it gets extremely hot. So what happened is I started getting rash all over my face. Um, as you see the picture that I've just inserted now, it was very those tiny rash and i thought ah it's just um what's this this is just normal heat rash it's gonna go away because i do get heat rash if it's get really hot and i thought it's gonna go away once i go to jobek because jobek weather is a bit different from the from our weather here in home in my king came back to jobek in jan 2018 my skin didn't get any better right um rash started coming all the way to my neck so it started on the forehead and then now coming all the way to my neck and i'm like mm, what's happening now at that moment i wasn't using ponds anymore but i left ponds like way back in like your 2010 so i've just been using protect bar soap or dental bar soap uh, to wash my face and then i would moisturize my face with in the evening i normally because i've got dry skin um in the winter and summer it's a bit oily so in the evening when i do take a shower after showering i moisturize my skin with your normal vaseline and in the but during the day i use the nivea sunscreen that has um a spf of 50 plus right it's been working perfectly i love my nivea sunscreen it's my daily moisturizer and in the evening i love my vaseline it works perfectly for me and dental bar soap works miracle for me with your products if i don't have dental i use those too rash started coming all the way in my neck i'm like hmm this is very weird what's happening and i thought maybe the sunscreen is starting to react to my face but i've been using it for years it can't start now um it's quite strong but i thought ah, anyway it's gonna go away maybe i'm on my period period after a week after my periods everything's gonna go well right and now things started getting really bad where it came
all the way to my chest and so I started having pimples and back black spots black spots all over my face so what I did is because I know a lot of people cousins and friends that I went to school with that actually suffered from acne and had breakouts I put up my situation on my skin situation on my uh whatsapp status and i'm like guys look at what is happening as you can see the pictures that i've inserted that's how bad it looked at that moment my skin was just breaking out the pimples were growing bigger it was no longer those very small um heat rash it wasn't a rash it was serious pimples with breakouts and what i did is people started saying oh my gosh what happened what did you do and i'm like does this look like normal acne to you they're like mm, mine didn't look like that but anyway acne is different for everybody and then people suggested things right they were like no use this i've used that use this and use hey guys <laughs> best believe you know what i did take people's advice and i thought you know what let me be a good child and then i went to the pharmacy purchased a couple of things they had suggested for me it was a lot of things actually if you look i started using that stuff but it wasn't getting better what it was doing it was burning um the pimples on my side right so i looked burnt like they were burning my skin and And I'm like, is it supposed to be working like this? And uh, some of the people were like, mm, girl, that looks a bit uh, different from what we normally get and what how we use that thing is different. So I decided, you know what, I'm done with this. And of course, at that time, my low self-esteem, my self-esteem is becoming a bit lower because when I go to the malls, everybody would be looking at me very weird. It was you can tell if someone didn't have a skin problem and all of a sudden they do and people that knew me actually said to me what happened to you we've never seen at this point in time i'm an adult guys like i'm a 26 year old 27 year old adult that has now acne but we are expecting acne in our teens right so i didn't think it's acne because i'm like i'm way past the acne situation <laughs> way way never that Dermatologist at Brandhurst Hospital said to me, this is definitely acne, right? And I'm like, mm -mm, I can't have acne right now. I'm old and I've never had any skin problems. So I don't think it's acne. It's something else. And he said to me, because when I walked into his consultation room, an elderly woman in the 50s walked out and he said to me, did you see the woman that just walked out before you went in? That woman is suffering from acne and it just started now in her 50s. So what I'm saying, and he said to me, it can start at any age, you know, and is influenced by different things. So what I'm saying to you guys is that, best believe, acne will start at any point in your life. Don't think just because you've long past your teen years, now you will no longer have acne. And I accepted, I'm like, oh, okay, but now... Uh, my skin is breaking out and it's burning just look at how bad i look and um we sat down and it's like so he injected my skin my face with something and it's like no your skin definitely suffered okay it's acne that's fine we've established that but also the stuff that you've been using and this is stuff that was recommended by people right that were saying this worked for me it could work for you try this try that and i it's like it's definitely from the stuff that you've been using they've burnt your skin i don't know why you were using that i'm like no people recommended it and guys when people recommend stuff for you remember it worked for them it doesn't necessarily mean it will work for you so he said to me are they doctors those people are they dermatologists if not why are you taking advice from people that are not qualified to be even giving advice to anyone on skin and i thought to myself hmm actually this he is right so we need to be careful when we are taking advice especially from people that are not qualified to be given such advice um of course we do ask what worked for you what didn't work for you but also bear in mind at the back of your mind that our skin reacts differently and some of the things are influenced by the different things that we do by the way when you are suffering and people are busy saying drink water eat your veg exercise <laughs> guys i did 
all of that if you know me you would know how much i exercise i exercise quite a lot i drink so much water at that time i was drinking too much water than my body could handle and i was drinking eating veggies so people you know what they don't know how bad it is and they just be telling you drink water what is good for you what is definitely good for you but sometimes it won't solve all your problems really and i know that first-hand experience exercise is good for you it won't solve all your problems veggies are good for you. it won't solve all your problems so yeah and he told me no the issue is your hormones whatever and i'm like oh okay um and he recommended that i go to a um, gynecologist because i've had other problems as well and he said it's definitely your hormones that are doing this i went to a gynecologist in the same hospital brandhurst hospital in parktown the guy me looked up and it's like mm, your hormones are way imbalanced so it was because of those hormonal imbalance that i ended up with my acne situation so what happened is the dermatologist and the guy me um agreed on putting me on yes men um these are the pills that I would take monthly. So these are contraceptive pills, right? Um, let me show you. So, yeah. So if you know Yasmin, these, I kept it for you guys so that when I do this video, I still have it. These are contraceptive pills that can help you with your skin. Oh my gosh. They worked perfectly for me. Side effects are bad so for me uh, the dosage was very low and i don't remember the dosage but he did say to me that he's gonna start me on a very low dosage um but the side effects your headache i got very like my headaches not even water could help with the headache but he did say you will have such headaches my skin was dry it was so dry that even vaseline wasn't enough to moisturize my skin my lips were worse i i couldn't use vaseline vaseline didn't work on my lips i was dark all my like guys you see my complexion i'm not usually a very very dark person i'm just an okay complexion like those smile complexion but i was so dark my neck was very dark so what that's what happens with yes men right but he mm. said to me take it for six months to a year and then just see how it goes you will come see me every three months so i took it for three months went back to him it's like okay it's improving my skin was improving then actually the pimples were all gone now i was dealing with the breakout and the uh the spots that i had but six months down the line the spots were done guys i was supposed to take it for a year but i didn't take it for a year because i couldn't handle the side effects but also my skin actually um improved way quicker than expected um while i was using the yasmin because the skin was very dry um i had to use the baby balm cream i will link it up uh, it helped me on my lips it moisturized my lips like nobody's business but that part that one a colleague of mine recommended she was like i've used this men before i know the side effects use this for your lips ah guys awesome i'm telling you for my face I couldn't use sunscreen anymore because the sunscreen 50 plus SPF was very harsh on my face so I had to use this SBR skin barrier repair and my skin had breakouts and all of that uh, focus this one so I bought this from it looks like this sorry guys um I had it looks like this right this is the one I bought it from Discam. um I had a prescription for it but i've seen that you don't need a prescription to get this because i've seen it on the car the aisles and all of that so you can get it from there this is what i was using for my face it's good guys it moisturizes your face and your face feels very nice and moisturized because my skin was very dry at that time this worked miraculously i actually need to get some more because i've run out it's actually quite expensive let me tell you at that moment i had run out of my medical aid savings i was using cash i used so much cash in 2018 that this year when i got my medical aid my tax certificate i've used over 2500 cash paying that's how expensive 
it is and people don't tell you right just how expensive it is to be dealing with your skin and making sure it's good and all of that guys for me it was extremely expensive and for my body i have to use this aqua aqua cream this one you also get it from your cliques discam and um, epimax they recommended it as well but this was cheaper than the epimax like i said i had run out and i had to take these yes men on a monthly basis which are over a hundred rands that you have to pay every month for these but this worked for me guys from acne that was so bad to a glowing skin in a couple of months i am glad i'm happy my advice would be to people that are struggling with acne remember to go see a dermatologist which is a skin doctor remember to go um so if a dermatologist recommends something really do follow up with it take it and take it throughout the course and also if people are giving you advice you also need to go to someone that's um that uh qualified to give advice so that you can ask uh, this person recommended this would you say this is good for me or not because we tend to take advice from friends from family members that are not qualified next thing your skin becomes worse than that it than it was originally was and then you are sitting with those problems remember acne can be better and um so for now because i've stopped this it's been a year now since i stopped using all these products i went back to my dental bar soap to my protex bar soap i went back to my nivea sunscreen and it works perfectly for me guys like my skin works perfectly and i'm happy with how my skin is looking like now and then when i go on my periods then my skin will break out but it doesn't take too long to get back to normal and that's i'm happy with it i've now started using masks because um sometimes i've got stress i don't sleep enough so you end up having the um black um under eye situation but otherwise all is well remember it can all be achieved everyone can get a glowing skin it's not for certain people it's not for special people we can all have a glow skin and remember it's expensive so do save up for it until next time guys from a glowing skin from, no from acne to a glowing skin thank you very much for watching and do go see your dermatologist until next time um please comment down below if you have acne if you've had suffer if you have suffered with your skin before and let me know what you've used what worked for you and what actually made your skin worse and let's chat let's show each other that we know what as ladies and gentlemen we do look out for one another until next time and hopefully next time kia will be here with me while we do another topic but until then thank you so much and enjoy the new season